up. Yeah. So don't anticipate and go into him because that's not going to help him. Okay. Five to seven. Ready? And. In. On a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight, one. Sorry. Yeah, that's too quick. That's not read it. That's much too quick. There's no no, no time to register who's saying what. So Prince has to come in. Then Larissa has to say, um, yes, welcome. These are here are my daughters. They have to kind. You have to kind of go together on that curtsy. Yeah, mm, but, but, mm, but, a D, D, This version of Cinderella is quite different from uh, perhaps more traditional versions. There are versions that focus more on the idea of the ugly sisters really truly being ugly, played, sometimes played by men uh, in the sort of pantomime tradition. In this production, uh, we're looking at the um, at all the, the the child characters, the young characters like Cinderella and the two stepsisters. Um, one of them is ugly in spirit and ugly of heart, but actually rather beautiful. And the other one is more a victim of circumstance. She's uh, before Cinderella came along, she was kind of the one that got kicked around. So there's a sweetness to her, and she's forced into, she's bullied into being mean to Cinderella by, by her beautiful, evil sister and, and their mother. Uh, so it's a, I suppose it's more looking at them more as, as, as real people in a sense and less as cartoon characters. <laughs> I suppose the starting point for creating this ballet obviously has to be the story and deciding which elements of the story that we're going to focus on, which characters are, are key to our, our version of Cinderella. So we work uh, quite long and hard over the synopsis, writing the scenes and figuring out the dramatic points in each scene. And then really from there it's a matter of of matching that with the music. The score is existing, it's music by Prokofiev, so it's already written to tell a version of the story. And what we have had to do is try to sort of tailor that to work with our version of the story. Um, so that's also quite a complicated thing that's done out of the studio. And then of course we bring that information in. And I don't tend to work very much on my own. Um, I prefer to have dancers in the, in the room so that I can see you know, the bodies interacting and also dramatically how each character plays off of one another. Even on this, it's like it, it has to go all the way down, all the way up. Which on you, that's good, yeah. Which on you is hard because you've got a lot of down, you've got a long way down to go and a long way up to come. See, see that's not like that. Once everything's sort of mapped out on pages, music, story, then we come into the studio and we begin working sort of quite spontaneously on the dance in the moment. Um, making wonderful little discoveries here and there. Mistakes happen and sometimes those mistakes are great and can create a very funny moment in the, in the choreography. 